gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, you are privileged to see the rehearsals of our new pantomime, Aladdin. So sit back and enjoy yourselves. Actors, take your places. Enter fairy announcer. Oh. <laughs> Within this tale, we find a boy. Aladdin is his name. A poor boy without a dad, but happy just the same. He dreams of being rich one day, a princess he will marry. But first, his fortune he must make. He has no time to tarry. So let me introduce him at his mother's laundry, where clothes are washed and pants are pressed at two for the price of three. We find the widow Twanky, a much downtrodden role, deserving of our sympathy, a hard-pressed, gentle soul. Now, boys and girls, you're in for a treat today. Let me introduce myself properly. My name is Widow Twanky. I'm called that because my husband died and left me to bring up our two sons all on my own. I'm very poor. Oh. No, no, I'm poorer than that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not been easy. Look at me. You wouldn't think that I was once beauty queen of Cheshire. My husband used to take me for granite. Oh, have you read that right? Don't you mean take me for granted? No, granite. He said I was a hard case. But it's hard going bringing up two boys all on your own. This is my eldest son, Aladdin. I've got this little laundry. My customers call, me, call it the holy laundry. That's because the clothes are returned full of holes. Mother, I've just been chased off the streets by the palace guard. Why can't I play in the street? The street's closed today because the Princess Jasmine is walking down to the river to bathe and nobody is allowed to gaze on her as she is passing. Why can't I gaze? I like a good gaze. It's a long time since I had a good gaze. What would happen if I gazed? Oh, no, no, you mustn't do that. They'll chop off your head. Why can't I look at the princess? Is she ugly? Don't pull a face, dear. You'll stick like that. No, she's very beautiful. Now, I can't stop here all day. I have work to do. Have you delivered the laundry? Mrs Wu from number 32 has complained that she's missing a bra from her return laundry. It was probably stuck in the washing machine again. We should get rid of that old thing. That's no way to talk about your mother. Well, we can't risk losing another customer. Business is bad enough already. You could help more. Why don't you smarten yourself up? Why? If you smartened yourself up, you could go out and get a job. Why? Because if you had a job, you would have money and you could save up. Why? Then you could pay it into a pension and later you could retire and you wouldn't have to work anymore. But I don't work now. Cheeky. You might not have any work to do, but I have. You take out these orders and I'll get on with the next load. Exit, Widow Twanky. It's a shame about the gazing. I wanted to watch the princess passing by. If she's as beautiful as they say, it must be worth risking just a little peek. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to see the princess. Aladdin risks his neck to see the princess Jasmine pass. But wait! An evil doer comes, his fortune to amass. The wicked Abanaza wants to find the magic lamp. It's in a cave below the ground, all smelly, dark and damp. And the cave doesn't smell very good either. Enter Abanaza and Aladdin. <laughs> Hello, young man. My name is Abanaza. I'm looking for a widow called Twanky. You don't know her, do you? Why do you want her? Well, I might have some good news for her. Do you know her? 
She doesn't owe you money, does she? No, 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 I don't want her money. In fact, I might give her some money. I'll pay money to find her. I might be able to help. I'll ask around. You sure she doesn't owe you any money? No, 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 that's the last thing I want. I'm a relative moving from right to left. No, 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 no. You don't say moving from left to right. That's just a stage direction. The line is, that's the last thing I want, you foolish boy. Ha! That's the last thing I want, you foolish boy. You just wait here, Mr. Have a Banana, and I'll find her. Uh, good. I <laughs> that's good. I can put my evil plan into action. <laughs> you lesser mortals should sit back and enjoy this. Now the lad's gone, I can let you into my secret pants. Read Read that again. It should be, I can let you into my secret plan. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my secret plan. I need Aladdin to find me the lamp that will make me the most powerful man on earth. It's in a cave so small that only a child can access it. I'll pretend that I'm the boy's long lost uncle. That tricks always work. Don't you think I'm clever? <laughs> hey. It's no use booing. That never worries me. All I want is power. The power! The power! <laughs> Exit Abba and enter Aladdin and his mother. That man should be here, Mother. This is the place. He promised me money. What man? What's his name? Mm, I have a banana or something like that. He said he's a relative. I see you still got your head on. You didn't see the princess then? I did, I did. And do you know, she is the most beautiful girl in China. Do you mean that you actually saw her and kept your head? Well, in a way, I saw her, but I lost my head. I'm in love. Well, thank goodness she doesn't even know you exist. She will now. I sent her a note. I told her I'd seen her and that I thought she was beautiful. Enter Ebenezer. Ah! Ah, ah, there you are! Is this the Widow Twanky? Please meet Mrs. Twanky. Mother, meet Mr. Abba Banana. Ah, I'm Abba Zana. Abba, Abba Banana. <laughs> I can't say my name. <laughs> I'm whatever. I'm very glad to meet you, Mrs. Twanky. I've come back from my foreign travels and looking you up my poor dead brother's family. You're pretty. I'd like to turn you over. <gasps> what? that she doesn't need turning over you speak for yourself it means turn over the page you don't need to say that it's a stage direct i'm again hello dear lady my name is abanaza surely you would you are not this boy's mother you're too young to have a grown-up child you must have adopted him I am the long-lost brother of your dear, dear, departed husband. Well, now that you mention it, my husband did have a brother. I thought you were dead. No, dear lady, al alive and well. As you can see, I've travelled far and wide and longed to visit the home of my dear, departed brother. Now tell me about yourselves. Do you fare well? No. I'm afraid we do not. I have a laundry that hardly keeps the wolf from the door, and my two boys just idle the days away. Wishy-washy is idling his time away somewhere, and this is Aladdin, my number one son. Aladdin! I'm thinking of taking in a partner. You want a job with me? What kind of job? Oh, doing this and that and a bit of other mixed in. Is it a paying job? Of course. He'll take it. When can he start? Right away. And you, madame, should expect us back for supper. Here, take this money. Pre prepare the feast for us. 
Oh, thank you, sir. I'll prepare a meal good enough to eat. Ah. Exit Abenaza. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> within the palace walls, the ro daily royal diary calls. Meeting people by the score is often quite an awful bore. The royals practice shaking hands while they discuss the daily plans. Enter Emperor and Princess. Now, Jasmine, my precious daughter, what are you doing today? Father, I bathed in the river this morning, and I do believe that one of the village boys actually made advances at me. In fact, he made advances. <laughs> no, no, he... No, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. No, he didn't. Oh, yes, oh, he, yes, did. he did. No, no, made advances is a stage direction. You walk down stage as you say it. Okay, if you say so, but that boy did make advances. Is that true? Has this person been beheaded? Oh no, I was the one who noticed him. He was rather nice looking. I shouldn't want him to lose such a nice head. Guards, make sure this doesn't happen again or you will lose your head. Daughter, it pleases to me to see that you are taking an interest in boys because very soon, we shall have to choose a man to marry. Father, you know that I've looked at that list of suitors and there's not one under 50 on it. Well, we must address the question of your marriage sooner or later. Can we leave it for now, Father? We can, my dear, but we will return to it tomorrow. Remember where we left the play? Aladdin and Abenazza on their way. We find them outside the city gates where hopefully great treasure awaits. Oh. <laughs> Arthur and Aladdin on their way out of the city. Ah, now my boy, I've brought you here to help to find a lamp. A lamp? Here? In the wilderness? We've got a spare one at home you could have. No, this is a special lamp. It's a, a family heirloom of great 70 metal value. Sentimental value? Have you lost it? Oh, oh no, I know where it is. And you just have to, well, and you're just the boy to get it for me. Follow me. It's, it's, it's around here somewhere. Here it is. Give me a hand to lift this rock. I want you to climb down into this cave and you'll find lots of treasure. Through that tiny space? How am I to climb down there? I'll break my neck. Do you think I should go down there? No! no. It's too dangerous! Yes. yes! There, you see? They agree. It's too dark. And anyway, I bet when I climb down, you'll pull up the rope and I'll be stuck down there. You won't, you won't, I promise. I promise not to pull up the rope. Did I trust him? No, no. you can't even read his There you properly. are, nothing <clears throat> doing. Abanaza takes off his ring. Look, this ring is my most treasured possession. You take it with you and I wouldn't leave without it, would I? All right, all right then, but don't leave me down there. Now, tie this rope around you. When you get down, look around for a lamp. Never mind anything else, just look for the lamp. You just keep hold of the rope and I'll look for the lamp. So, oh, that's directed. Oh, Aladdin is lowered down into the cave. Aladdin, have you found the lamp yet? Not yet. It's very dark in here. Look for the lamp, then pass it up to me. Where have you gone? Oh, it's dark, I see. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of all kinds of treasure down here. Uncle, we're rich. Do you hear? We're rich. Have you found the lamp yet? 
No, but I think I found the crown jewels. Never mind the crown jewels. Can you see the lamp? No, but there's jewels and treasure everywhere. The lamp, the lamp, find the lamp. I think I found the lamp. Quick, 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 pass it up to me, pass it up to me. Down. No, you get me out of here first. Give me the lamp or you will stay down there forever. I thought we were partners. The lamp, the lamp, pass me the lamp. Not until you pull me out. Right, a few days locked in that cave will soon change your mind. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Ooh. 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 I'm not worried. He'll soon be back if he wants a lamp. I'll just sit down here and wait. Still got half a sandwich from lunch. That'll be all right. So in a cavern, dark and deep, we find our hero fast asleep. Little knowing the evil plan of that still more evil man. Lying in the cave so damp, Aladdin holds the precious lamp. Will he trust his newest friend? And from this deepest cave ascend with riches more than he could dream. Or victim be of Uncle Ski. So let us with an anxious heart go now to that deep place apart. Hello up there. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Well, I knew he was angry, but two days. Hello there, anybody there? I know, I'll keep myself busy filling these boxes with all this lovely treasure. I'll see if I can light this lamp. It's very old and dirty. When Aladdin rubs the lamp, the genie appears. Hey, who are you calling old and dirty? And please give me a warning when you rub the lamp. There I was asleep for the last few hundred years and hey, Prestro, I'm out. What? Who are you? You're not a pigment, are you? Figment! Oh, you're not a figment of a disturbed mind. Am I elocutioning? Hallucinating! <laughs> no, Master, you rubbed the lamp and I'm here. I did, and you did. I am the genie of the lamp. You now own the lamp and I'm yours to command. My, uh, command? Yes, you can have anything in my power, riches and treasures galore. Can you get me out of here? Of course. Well, genie of the lamp, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Can we take some of this treasure? As much as you like. Right, I'd like to take the lot. Your wish is my command. Let's go. Meanwhile, within the twanky shop, the widow paces round non-stop. She hasn't seen her son for days and thinks because he had a gaze upon the princess when she passed, the gods have captured him at last. But no, her son returns with gold and other treasures to behold. Aladdin returns and pretends that he is still poor. Mother! Uh, mother! Mother, I'm home! Can I have some food, Mother? I'm starving! Oh, I'm sorry, love. There's nothing in the cupboard at all. It'll be watered down soup again tonight. No, it won't, Mother. Look at all this treasure. And Uncle Abenazar went on and on about this old lamp, so it must be valuable. This, this dirty old lamp? It doesn't look valuable. It needs a good clean. Here, pass me that polishing cloth. No, don't rub it or you'll get a surprise. <laughs> and out pops the genie again. You called, Master. Oh, where did you come from? I am the genie of the lamp. I've been locked up in that old lamp for nearly 300 years. I've not been out for such a long time. I know how he feels. Please stick to the script. This is the genie that rescued me from the deep cave where Uncle Abanaza left me. Well, you're very welcome. Pull up a basket and take the weight off your feet. What's your name again? I am the genie of the lamp and I can do whatever is your pleasure. Well, hey, I'll go and make out my long list. 
It's for my master, Aladdin, to decide. I exist only to grant the wishes of whoever owns the wonderful lamp. Well, for a start, you could bring me lots of food. Your wish is my command. What would you like? Ooh, I'd like a number 27 with poppadoms, followed by a 33 and two number fours, and a generous helping of number 168. And for you, Master? I'll have the same, thank you. <clears throat> Aladdin has all that money can buy. He wants the princess to pass by. He makes a bid to have her hand, an offer that is bold and grand. But Abenaza has a play, an evil plot that, come what may, will bring about Aladdin's fall, with Abenaza lord of all. Within the palace all's not well, the royal coffers do not swell. So, when the widow brings a gift, the vizier is really miffed. <laughs> so, widow Tranky goes off to the palace with a gift from Aladdin. Your, your emperorship, I must talk to you. My name is Widow Twanky, and this casket of jewels is a present from my son, Aladdin. He asks that he might arrange to discuss a very important matter relating to your daughter, the Princess Jasmine. It's a kind of down payment on a dowry. Oh, look, it's full of nice jewels and things. We shall arrange a suitable time for an audience. Thank you, Mrs Twanky. Twanky? Quite right. Tell your son Aladdin that we will send for him soon and thank him for the gift. Aladdin's newfound wealth and baggage has won the princess's hand in marriage. The princess has her love at last. The deal is done. The die is cast. I have made up my mind. I have decided that Princess Jasmine will marry Aladdin. You know we need to get lots of money to keep the royal ladies exiting at speed. Wait! Exiting at speed? Speed is a stage direction. The line we need is we need lots of money to keep the royal ladies in fine clothes and the other niceties of palace life. We need lots of money to keep the royal ladies in fine clothes and the other niceties of palace life. Enter Princess Jasmine. Is it true, Father? Am I to marry Aladdin? It is our royal wish. Thank you, Father. Now, to go find Aladdin. Next, we find the now wed pair in a new palace, debonair. With all mod cons and money too, the course of love is running true. So Ebenezer, ghastly fella, pretends to be a market seller. He trumps his wares, big, bright and bold, with the cry, new lamps for old. <laughs> that Aladdin has my lamp. He has now a new bride and a brand new palace. All with my lamp. Curse him, but I have a cunning plant. That you can't see it's too bright. Oh, you wish to, oh, no you haven't. I have a cunning plan. Have you ever known a woman to resist a bargain, hey? I've been to the market for load of cheap lamps. New lamps for old. New lamps for old. Bring out your lamps. Bring out your lamps. What is that noise? Here I am in my new palace, minding my own business, and some mad beggar is shouting his head off outside. Hey, you. New lamps for old. New lamps for old. Bring out your old lamps. What do you mean? New lamps for old? I exchange your old lamp for a lovely, shiny new one. How strange. Why are you giving new lamps for old? Well, it's sort of a government scheme to reduce carbon emissions. 
Now, Aladdin has an old lamp in his study. I've told him often enough to get rid of it. It doesn't go at all with the decor. Do you take any old lamp? Yes, any old lamp. I'll go fetch it. You stay here. I don't want your dirty shoes in the house. Okay. Here it is. It's all dusty and I'm sure it's not working. Wait a minute while I clean it up. No, 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 no. It doesn't need rubbing just yet. It doesn't have to be working. Here, take this, uh, this, this new one in exchange. Thank you. That looks better. Aladdin will be pleased with me. I'll put it in his study. He will be surprised. It's mine! Mine at last! Now I will conquer the world! Now to get that genie to transport all of this land far away! <laughs> and Exit Ebenazo, all excited. <laughs> Poor Aladdin. Something's weird. His brave new world has disappeared. Recall the ring that Abanasa gave for Aladdin when he was in the cave. With it, the lad is not alone. It's like an immortal mobile phone. He rubs it, and to his delight, help is at hand to end his plight. Aladdin asks the spirit of the ring to help him. What has happened to my Princess Jasmine? What has happened to my palace? What will become of me? All is lost. All is not lost, Aladdin. I'm here to help you. How can you help me? I'm a kind of heavenly emergency worker. Whenever you rub the ring, I will appear. How can I help you? Tell me what has happened to my bride and my palace. The wicked Abanzar has the princess and the palace now that he has the power of the wonderful lamp. Can you get my bride and palace back? No, my power is not strong enough. I'm only on the cheap overnight tariff. Do you know where they are? Oh yes, I can take you there, if, you, if that is your wish. Yes, please, let's go. Sly Abanzar and stolen bride have been transported and now reside over the hills and far away, master of all that they survey. Abanaza enters. Princess Jasmine, now that you have everything you could ever wish for, do you think you could uh, look as though you're enjoying yourself? Well, I'm not enjoying myself. Why don't you keep this palace and the wonderful lamp and all the riches and let me go back to Aladdin? You will stay here and enjoy yourself. If I have to kill you. You won't like it if I sulk. You've done nothing but sulk since I brought you here. If sulking were an Olympic, you would have won a gold medal. I'm going out. And if you think that's sulking, you haven't seen anything yet. Enter spirit of the ring. Princess, I brought someone to see you. Go away. I'm not in the mood to see anyone. I think you want to see this person. Jasmine! Aladdin, my hero, my husband, my champion, my soulmate. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? Even for a pantomime script. I'll get it rewritten. Carry on. Thank heaven you're here, Aladdin. That nasty Abananza has kept me a prisoner. I've been doing somersaults. Stop there! What, in the middle of my somersaults? You've turned over two pages. That should read, that nasty Abanaza has kept me prisoner. I have been hoping that you would find me. Aladdin, you're not safe here. Be careful, Abananza will kill you. Where is the lamp? He carries it with him, everywhere. I have a plan. You need to be nice to him, and when you get the chance, put this powder in his drink. Then I can recover the lamp. Hurry, hide, he's coming. Jasmine, Jasmine, are you in a better mood? I was just thinking, my dear, how would you like to travel? I've got the latest travel brochure from Crooks. That should be Crooks. We, we could go.
go to India or Egypt, I could take you to see the Sphinx. If it stinks, just put it in the laundry basket. No, stink, not stinks, sphinx. A, a weird figure with a woman's head on it. I saw one of those at the swimming club today. Come here and have a drink with me. Here you are, your favourite tipple, camel strain champagne. You'll enjoy this. Mm, it tastes delicious. It's got a hint of something else within it. Hmm, aniseed or something. Ah! Why, Abanza, you've got a funny colour. Oh dear, now you've fallen over. Aladdin, I think it's okay to come out now. Right, now to search him for the lamp and get the genie to take us all home. Here it is, I'll give it a good rub. The genie appears in a flash. It's hard work. It's hard work appearing solid walls. I get headache. Master, what? I have two commands. Take us back home again, palace and all, and put this Abanaza somewhere where he can't do us any harm again. We've lost the genie. <laughs> the wonders of Zoom. Your wish is my command, is her lie. Now returned and safe at last, their tribulations all are past. The happy pair back on home ground, Aladdin and Jasmine safe and sound. Oh, I'm a happy man. My daughter returned home with me, my rich son-in-law. Send for the widow Twanky. I'm here, your worshipful, and still looking for a man. Where's that Abinaza? He might do. I don't think we shall see him again, Mother. The genie has stuffed him into a bottle and thrown it into the sea. He might be washed ashore in a few hundred years. Let's drink to that. Oh, good. Mine's a pint. We've reached the end. Our story told. With treasure bright and pots of gold, Aladdin and his princess smile and live together in great style. The now rich Twanky is pursued by many suitors, loud and lewd. Abanaz is now immortal. You'll find him small inside a bottle. We've reached the story's end at last. So let's applaud the entire cast. Oh, well, at least she disappeared at the right time. <laughs> Have we still got the genie? My computer's oh. got. Just tell him, Roy, my computer's gone off. <laughs> we, can <laughs> <hear> <laughs> we can hear you. We can hear you. We just can't see you at the minute. You're back on. Just put your video back on. All right. Yeah, we're telling when we're on.